It's very important to maintain good programming habits as you first get into programming. I don't want to teach you bad habits that you're going to have to unlearn. So right from the beginning, I want you to start by planning your programs well and doing things to make yourself, your life easier for yourself down the road. The biggest part of a program's life cycle is in maintenance. Programs will exist for years and years having to have slight updates. And while you may or may not be the person coming back in six months or a year to update it, somebody is going to be. So it's common that businesses will have specific ways that they want things done, specific documentation to help programs to be easy to understand. And you're going to have to follow some basic guidelines that will be set by where you work. But some common things you should comment appropriately. And I personally believe that this means typically at least one per comment per module explaining what the module is doing. You should have meaningful, variable, and module names. A module is going to be the part of your program that does something, like calculate sales tax. And that would be a good name for module, calculate sales tax. Not just calculate or sales tax. You want to express what it's doing. Don't save yourself a few keyboard strokes to make something less clear. You want it to be something that will be instantly clear if you read it a year from now. Type a little longer, be a little more verbose, be very clear in your names. Variables should be a noun. Sales tax. Total line item. They're all nouns. You should have clear statements. When you're writing lines of programming code, you can potentially have them wrap down into multiple lines. Sometimes it's better to break them into multiple lines so it's clearer and easier to read. The rules for that are specific to each program, but pay attention to line breaks and make sure that it makes sense. And you also want to have very clear inputs and echo their outputs. So if you ask the user, please enter your name, then the next line after they enter it would be, please enter your age. Instead of just saying, please enter your age, say, Shauna, please enter your age. That way it repeats to them that you got their name correctly and it helps them verify what you're working with. One of the most important things, probably the most important thing that I teach programmers and any sort of developer, whether you're developing a video game, you have a web page, or a program. If I only teach you one thing in this lesson, this is the most important thing. It is not This is not the correct order to do things. It is not ready, fire, aim. I cannot begin to tell you how many times I've taught a programming class where people think they don't need to plan, and they just write their code. And then they come back afterwards and they do their flow chart. A flow chart is like a blueprint for a house. You wouldn't build a house and then come back and draw the blueprints. What point is there in that? It's not ready, fire, aim. It is ready, aim, Fire. And in programming, ready means you understand, understand the task. You know what the program is supposed to accomplish. You've done your due diligence. You've done job shadowing. You know exactly what it's supposed to do. That's how you get ready. Aim. That's your plan. Depending on how big a program it is, it might just be a few lines of pseudocode. It might be a flow chart. It might be UML, Unified Modeling Language. Fire. You write the program. But you always want to understand the program, plan the program before you code the program. Coding the program is usually not the longest step. Understanding it is typically the longest step. Understand, plan, write. That order. Ready, aim, fire.